We at some point should probably talk about Unity 2020, mm -hmm. uh, which is a plan that I have uh, deployed for allowing the American people effectively to recapture the White House. And that plan involves within the confines of the constitutional protections and presidential uh, term limits, it actually envisions something else in which you would have a pattern in the White House that would um, continue uh, until until uh, things were substantially fixed. So the plan, for those who haven't heard it, is that we would draft two candidates, one from the left, one from the right. They would be drafted under the agreement that once in office, they would govern as a team. They would discuss everything except where that wasn't practical. Um, and everything would be uh, decided jointly. Um, the team, the person who ran in the top spot, would be chosen by a coin flip. After four years, the spots would reverse, and the president would run as vice president and vice versa. And this would continue until mm -hmm. one party had been in the presidency twice, and they would be then replaced on the team. And this could, in principle, go on indefinitely. Now, of course, the American people would always have the opportunity to remove these people from office were they to fail, um, were they to fail or to disappoint or to evidence corruption. But the most important thing is that the system we have now freezes out anybody who isn't willing to participate in corruption. So by the time we get to the general election, we never have a good choice left to us. Mm. Um, so in any case, my point would be um, term limits <clears> – <throat> Term limits have a an upside and a downside. One can imagine a despot getting into power and continuing there as a result of a cult of personality or something like that, in which case term limits would be a blessing. On the other hand, you can also imagine that somebody gets into office who actually succeeds in confronting the corrupt structures that have caused uh, the nation to falter and then having to leave office after two terms with uh, no appropriate uh, follow-up. So anyway, it can work both ways. The nice thing about the Unity 2020 proposal is that it uh, honors the part of term limits that is protective while allowing continuity if that is desirable. If it proves to work and the American public wants to see the same style of governance continue, they would be free to vote for that uh, indefinitely. Mm. And you, you're saying that switching the roles from president to vice president and flipping that after the next term, you think you're saying that would avoid corruption? No, the primary hedge against corruption in the plan is that we would draft two people who have three characteristics. They would have to be courageous, they would have to be capable, and they would have to be patriots. Mm. Now, my feeling is if you name any two people who have those three characteristics and you tell me, in office, they will govern by consensus, right? Already, I'm not worried. Does that mean that the policies that I as a liberal want are going to uh, be enacted? No, probably not. But what it does mean is that my values are definitely going to be in the room. There's somebody in that room in the discussion who, uh, who understands the world that I believe ought to exist and will speak to it. Um, it's not what policy will be, but it will at least be present in the discussion. The fact of them reversing roles every four years means that you couldn't get a situation where, let's say, uh, the conservative had won the first coin flip and then just ignored the liberal in order to make conservative policy. Now, mm. by choosing a patriot, you wouldn't be likely to have that, but this is a second layer of protection, right? What it means is if you got somebody who did this for uh, for four years, you would be guaranteed that in the next round they wouldn't have that opportunity, which also increases their incentive not to play the game that way. Um, so the purpose of the plan is to neutralize all of the normal objections so that the one thing that needs to happen, the one thing that never happens with our current system, is that the people are actually represented at the top of the system that is supposed to protect them. Right. If we are represented there, there's a tremendous amount we can do to make things better. Mm. Right. We, it, those things don't get done because they run afoul of special interests who actually have veto power over everything at the moment. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I love the idea. Uh, I just kind of get this image out of my head of 
the vice president and the president doing a coin, coin flip and being nationalized on television and say, ah, you're going to be president for the next four years. But don't you love it? I mean, doesn't that it's actually a, sound it's a like pretty, us? It sounds like a pretty comical idea, yeah. Well, I got to say, um, I am up for anything honorable mm-hmm. uh, and different that is well thought out. So yep. I think the thing is, yes, this would look very different. I think in considering it, people ought to say, well, that's interesting. This is happening entirely within the confines of the Constitution that we already have. It doesn't require any changes, and so it doesn't carry the hazard of changing the Constitution. It's just something uh, that was previously unimagined, Mm. right? And it's hard to find how it would be abused. The whole thing is designed to neutralize abuse. So in any case, were it true that we had two viable candidates offered by the major parties, then I would imagine Unity 2020 would not have the potential to work. But to offer a plan that clearly tends to neutralize the bad influences on governance at a moment when the two parties have both delivered us candidates that are absolutely not viable um, means that, uh, you know, we have a national emergency and somebody has offered a plan in which we could address it. And uh, I mean, how much better would you feel come January if you had a, a team of patriots that were committed to uh, to navigating these issues so that they did not fall out on one side of the political spectrum or the other? If they ascended the stage uh, on Inauguration Day, wouldn't you feel uh, greatly relieved at our safety? Don't you mm. think the planet would breathe a sigh of relief that America had gotten over its partisan insanity? I mean, based on the two candidates that I see now, definitely seems like a promising plan. Yeah. All right. 